Hi YouTube, um, this is Dnovel A and I wanted to show you the latest project that I've been working on. Um, I've actually started remaking a few of my chibi models but so far I've only done that with like the female model as you can see here. So um, yeah, I wanted to try out a new style and um, you know see if I can use this as a sort of a template for some other future projects that I might want to work on so to start off actually like let me start off with um, showing you the uh, models that I actually used to use before I got to this one um, let's see another blender wind. Okay, so this is why I started. Um, I think I made these in like 2017, if I'm correct. And oh boy, like <laughs> the male model is just oof. Yeah, I mean, like these eyes are too far apart, and uh, the body proportions are just yeah. It's it's not something that I'm. I guess when I look back at it, I'm like, yeah, I'm not proud of this. And then there's um, the female model here, which also, uh, to me, like as time went on, it's, yeah, they just don't look pleasing. I mean, like, um, you know, you look at the uh, wireframe to begin with. Let me um, check the modifiers here. Do this. See, like, there's no edge flow on the face, um, on the head, um, topology or whatnot. Um, the whole thing is basically just... It just looks like it was made by an inexperienced modeler, I guess. And, you know, same goes for the male model. It's, it's basically the female model, but then, like, I just changed a few things. And now that I look back at it, it's, yeah, it, it really doesn't look good. But I don't know, like I've made some characters, especially with the female model that, I don't know, people found, I guess, pleasing. Like, for example, this model here. Um, yeah, I guess it looks okay. You know, but I wanted to improve on it, I guess, because I don't know, like there's a lot of things I feel like I could do right. Like, for example, just the body proportions in general, uh, the only thing that was basically tripping me up. Um, like, you look at the legs on this one, you know, um, let me see if I can open the non rig version of this um open recent no it's just open don't say and then uh yeah, here it is sorry guys my computer is really slow um so if it doesn't load as fast just know why Yeah, this is taking some time. Okay, um, so here's the non rig version. So if you look at this, let me see if I can hide the clothes. Yeah, you can see that it's still the same model. You know, it's just... Uh, yeah, I guess the clothes really hide the, uh, the, the bad proportions because, I don't know, you know it's just... Yeah, it, it just doesn't look that good. And... Um, yeah, that's why I had to, I had to redo it. And then uh, let me go back to the uh, the last one, the, the rig version. Don't save. And uh, here it is. 
I mean, overall, it does look good, but then, like, you know, you hide the clothes and then it's just... Yeah, it's just something completely different. So, for... You know, redoing it, I... Let me see. Yeah, I kind of... For the body, I used one of my uh, previous models. I just attached the head. You know, because then, like, if you look at this body, it has semi-realistic proportions. You know, like, I get that the hands are a little bit bigger than they should be, but then... Yeah, this, no, it's not this one. There's one body that I used. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, I use this body. I just uh, use proportional editing to kind of, you know, shift some of these uh, body proportions so that they can match the chibi style that I was going for. So I didn't really like change a lot. I just, um, yeah, I just played with the topology a bit. It's really nothing too complex. You know, like, um, let's let me see if I can uh, enable the uh, the wireframe. Uh, yeah. Because if you look at the chibi wireframe and then um, you look at the wireframe of this model, you can see that there's not really much of a difference. It's just the same thing, you know, just scaled down a bit and uh, proportion shifted just so it matches the style that, that I was going for. And uh, I recently made, um, let's see, um, what is it? I recently made, so I recently made RAM from ReZero using the same model. Um, let me get out of ghost mode and hide the camera. Let's see here, where is it called? Oh yeah, and this one. Like if I do this. Yeah, it's, I basically made RAM from ReZero and uh, I used the recent model. And uh, yeah, basically it's just, yeah, it's the same as this one. And let me hide this. To this one, like you see, that you no, know, nothing much has changed, it's just the hairstyle and uh, the clothes. And even when I hide the clothes, um, you can still tell that it's still the same. Sorry, OBS, you can tell that it's still the same model, like nothing much has really changed. Um, one, two. And yeah, um, like I said, I'm planning to use these models for like um, other projects as well. Not necessarily for like making modeling tutorials or anything like that. No, I just have other projects that are I'm planning, and um, I want to, you know have better models I guess and let me bring back everything Cozy. okay and EV let's see how it looks rendered again guys my computer is really slow so you know when things don't you know start showing immediately like yeah, you just know, man, it's... I don't have like a high-end PC or anything like that for this sort of thing, so, you know, bear with me here. So, I have this version of her, and I also have a rigged version, but I'm not really pleased with the current pose that I have for her. So, I'm still working on that. But yeah, this is how the model looks for now. Let 
Mm, there's not really much to talk about, so... Um, yeah, uh, also like for the breakdown of how I made this character, it's... Um, like she's just divided into a few parts, like uh, let's see, if I click on, let's say, anything that is like white clothing and hide it, you can see that only the black parts remain and for you know same goes for the black parts as well like i just took everything and then i just uh, divided it by color and created a separate material for it and like let's see here i have them named you know like this one's for the white parts and this one's for the black parts of the clothing it's just that for the legs and you know and, um, other stuff i just I didn't, uh, I didn't create uh, new models you know, because I want to save on, I guess, you know, poly count and whatnot, um, and save on render time just so you know I can optimize the model a bit more. I mean, granted, I won't be using it for like anything like animation or whatever, but you know, it's always good to save on render time. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the hair, I think, is its own thing as well. Like, it's attached to the eyebrows and the eyelashes. So if I hide this, everything else disappears except, you know, uh, the accessories on her head, which are also linked to this little bow on her neck. But yeah, this bow here at the back is also attached to, you know, this, uh, the white parts of the clothing, so yeah. I just like to uh, group certain things into like one object. Like, you know, so when I hide the thing, like that's what happens. And then like there's the accessory, like I said, you know, I hide them, they all disappear and then bring everything back. There it is. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the model. I also have a rigged version of this. Like I said, let me see if I can open it. Um, don't save. Oh yeah, here it is. Uh, it's taking a while again. Oh yeah, here it is. Um, I think I got this pose from one of her... Um, I think it was one of her drawings on like the model sheet that I was using. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up. Um, oh yeah, here it is. It's this one. I was trying to go for something like this, but then uh, I just switched the, um, you know, the arms and whatnot. Uh, let's see, I also changed the way her leg is, uh, is positioned, like I kind of bent it a little. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this project. I didn't really like do anything special. Oh, and also if you're wondering how I got the the madcap to, to, to look, uh, look kind of cell shaded like this, I used this matte cap over here uh, it's called tune I and mean, there it is and then i changed the color to texture I mean, normally i think it's on either object or material i think let me see yeah it's normally on object or material i'm, I'm really not sure but then like yeah i just changed it to texture but then like if I want the uh, the diffuse texture to show in that sort of a tune shaded um, look, all I have to do is just go to uh, shading and uh, let me wait for this thing to load again. Um, yeah, it might take some time. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, here it is. So I just go to uh, the shade, the shader panel, and then like I just make sure that the last node that I clicked on is the uh, diffuse color. And then if you go to a uh, layout, there it is. It just appears as, as the yeah, as the last texture that you just clicked on. And um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Like, it's not really one of my uh, speed modeling. I'm I'm still going to do those, by the way. Like, yeah, that's what I'm you know known for, I guess. But uh, yeah, I guess this is it for this project breakdown. You know, like, tell me what you think about it. Uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, I guess I'll see you on my next project, which will probably be, I guess, the uh, speed modeling. <laughs>